Carl Gebhardt, Heinrich Himmler's childhood friend and personal physician. His interrogators found Gebhardt eager to portray himself as a man of science and not as a proponent of Nazi racial philosophies. Ärzte hatten einen schlechten Ruf im Dritten Reich. Sie unternahmen ständig Dinge wie Sterilisation und so weiter. Ich persönlich glaube nicht an Sterilisation. I don't believe in sterilization. When Hitler came to power, the German medical community was given legal cover to conduct experiments without any prohibitions or restrictions. Ich dachte, es wäre besser für mich, sicherzustellen, dass die Dinge richtig gemacht wurden, als jemand anderes ranzulassen, der nicht wusste, was er tut. Else go ahead without knowing what he is doing. Since I knew it would be done anyway, I didn't see anything wrong in going ahead with these experiments. Just from the scientific point of view. Beginning in July 1942, he began doing experiments on sulfur as a cure for infection. He would infect patients in the leg, and they um, rubbed in wood chips, glass. Once gangrene uh, was caused, they were simply allowed to suffer, uh, even after the leg had turned black and, and the pain was simply unbearable. Some of them died, um, some of them survived, and they said, they would rather have simply been shot. Gebhardt wasn't driven into this by any means. When he ran out of human subjects, he demanded more. And when that proved to be a problem, he went over the head of the concentration camp commandant to get more. It would be senseless to sacrifice human beings and then not succeed in finding out if it worked or not. 